Uh, hi guys, it's me and yay, I'm back. Anyway, I'm going to do a pour today, a floral, what I call floral pour. Um, using some really uh, very pretty colors. And uh, let me come up here where I can see you, you can see me. Thanks for all your follows. Thanks to, let me turn off this TV. I don't know why I have the TV on. <laughs> Okay, there we go. All right, so I want to thank all the followers that I have, all my subscribers, all the likes. And I wanted to tell the people on YouTube that I noticed that no one is watching my videos because I looked in and it showed 900 the other day. And now it's down to 600. So that does not help my ratings at all. So this is why I've been spending more time on Instagram. So if you guys want me to come back and be with you guys, it would be so nice if you guys start watching my videos as I do to a lot of you and support you. And, uh, you know, like they say, wa uh, one hand washes the other. So I'm hoping that we all start doing that, you know, like a like for a like. Um, it helps a lot for our channels and our, you know, social media pages to work together and not against each other. So, um, just going to bring you down so you can see what's going on here. Okay? There we go. Let's bring you down. I'm eating my little fishies, my little fishies to keep me kind of, you know, full throughout the day. Um, I don't know if you guys know you got to keep eating throughout the day when you're diabetic. In order to keep yourself going and you don't fall out or pass out or anything like that. So, on this one, I'm going to use this color on the top. The white. Yeah, white on the top. And I'm going to use a different color in the bottom. I'm going to use this kind of salmon color in the bottom. So, I want to make it different, you know. Ooh, let me not use it. Oh, I want to put that, some of that color on the flower. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, here we go. Just kind of mix it. So, you know, I don't do that many pours anymore. You know, because I was told to do mostly... Some of my abstract painting. Uh, but once in a while, I do like to do my pores. So why not? It's your choice. You do what you want to do, right? So. Mm, that's a nice pink. It really is like a salmon color. And look at this white line. This came out of nowhere. Ugh, why you got to mess up my pink? Your white line, you. Okay. Well, this time, this point, it doesn't matter really. Let's get that over there. A little pink went on that white part there, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. Now this pink over here. Mm -hmm. I was gonna use the blower because I haven't used the blower in a long time. I do like to use the blower at times and just let, you know, push the paint around. I mean, why not? And then, uh, you know, yeah. Kind of told that that's a Dutch pour. <laughs> so, um, there we go. And I hope you guys can hear me. But meanwhile, thank you for the likes, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks for all the comments. All those people that comment, I usually go back and comment on their pages as well. So, like I said, you know, you do for me, I do for you. Mm -hmm. And some of the bigger channels, they should try to help the little people, you know, that are here just a little bit and trying to grow their channel. Because if we don't help each other out, then that's not good. Let me do the white side here. 
and push the white around. Yeah. What happened to my paint here? This white looks like it's all crumbling. Hmm. Don't know yet. But we shall see how it dries. The most important thing about these floral pores is that your background color, you know, like being the white or the salmon red, it's very thin. Like just add a lot of water to your to your pouring medium, whether it's uh, pouring medium with Floetro or I usually put Floetro like. Uh, three tablespoons to one tablespoon of paint and a gat drop a gat to each paint and that's it i don't put any um cell producing anything if i get it uh any cells it's by the grace of god unless i have like the silicone in it or the australian floetro in it that you get those really nice lacing yeah, I don't have any of those. Sometimes I can't afford them, so I don't buy them. Imagine if I bought all this uh, pouring stuff and all this stuff for my abstract painting. I'd really be poor. I'll be standing outside somewhere begging people for money to paint. <laughs> that would not be nice. Yeah, so... Anyway, Ooh, these colors are so pretty together. Yeah, I like that this is coming down like that. I didn't even do it. It must be my table maybe crooked. Who knows? And get rid of some bubbles. So now I'm going to add my colors and then I will torch it again. So the colors I'm adding is this really nice kind of light blue color. It's uh, a blue from Deco Art. It's supposed to be a metallic blue actually from Deco Art. I'll show you the name once I finish. The name will be in the bottom in the description because not all the time I pay attention to the names of the colors that I use. I'll just say blue and pink and then next you know it's like a canacodome, you know, mint violet or something like that like I did with uh, Jaffe's colors. I never said the color right. <laughs> um not a good thing anyway now i'm gonna put like a darker blue here yeah i should have used purple actually that's what i should have done like a nice purple would have been really good for this painting because the pink with the purple probably goes really good together that's what i say mm -hmm. i'm gonna drop some of the blue here Yeah, and don't be clumsy like me, that's all. Mm -hmm. If you're not clumsy like me, you get somewhere. Put that blue on that side now, instead of this side. Mm -hmm. I got so much paint in this cup. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this leftover paint. I'm going to have to do like a really big pour and get rid of all this paint. See, that's what happens to me. I always end up using too much paint. I don't know that I want to use white because white seems to drown all my colors. I'm not using white. I'm just going to use the gold because, of course, I like the deco art uh, gold. I'm 
not the 24 karat go i wish it was i sometimes come across that one and sometimes i get it and sometimes i just don't so there you go all right the go is always going crazy making cells and everything all right so this is the knife i usually use for my uh you know scrapes or swipes or whatever usually with the rigids there but this one has gotten messed up because i used it over and over again with uh resin pour and you see what happened to the tip it's got like a piece there i wish i could just cut that off and then i could use the knife <laughs> but i'm still gonna use it so here we go Mm -hmm. that's beautiful i love it love how nice it looks the colors are beautiful yeah oh if you just get frustrated with that knife you could use this knife another palette knife that really goes deep in there and really pushes your color out yeah, but it pushes too much color, you see? Too much paint is being pushed out. And you're going to get cells because, oh, here go the hair again, another piece of hair. Angie, you're losing your hair. If you're not losing your marbles, you're losing your hair. No bueno. So, way better. So, okay, this. Okay, just like that. That is so beautiful. Let's hit this way down there. And you could push it whichever way you want. If you want to push it downward, you could do that. It's still going to give you some kind of beautiful design. You know, like they say, art is in the eye, in the eye of the beholder. And it doesn't matter who says you copy, whatever, you know, whatever. Let them talk whatever they want. Who cares? It's everybody pours very different. And that's mostly what you should be worried about. That your pouring is so gorgeous. It's so different than anyone else's. Never the same to, you know, I never see the same of like one or two artists so but I wanted to do this one because I have not done this technique in quite a while so I mean I did it not too long ago with the purple and I really do like the way the turn out with the purple in the bottom kind of thing so <clears throat> But if you look at my playlists, you'll see that I have done a lot of bloom technique and uh, I had a lot of swipe techniques. I don't know what happened to my playlist. Uh, it's just kind of, I don't know. Maybe I deleted it by mistake, but I had so many swipes that came out so beautiful with the colors that I love, like the red, the orange, the yellow, the you know the gold in there and i don't know where where is that now it's going mm -hmm. this is beautiful i did this pink because guess what valentine's day is coming so why not use this beautiful pink color for valentine's day so guys, start pouring all your Valentine's uh, pours. I'm sure my girls on YouTube are going to start doing all their Valentine's uh, pours soon. Because that's what everybody does on YouTube. Everybody does a Valentine's, te you know, technique. So that's why I love YouTube. Everybody gets to pour and do very different, beautiful designs. Like an antique blue this blue so it's kind of making it look so beautiful this blue so uh not original that's for sure it looks very different than the original painting 
I'm making sure the sides are all covered, okay? And, you know, I mean, I could always do this all tomorrow. But I want to make sure the top here, all those little specks I see around there are not anything other than... So what I do with the edges is I then take a palette knife and I just clean all the paint along the edges. Don't forget to, you know, clean your paints along the edges. You, you want to have a nice, free, clean edge. You don't want any of the, you know, drips on the, on the, on the canvas. Once it dries, you want it to be nice and clear of, you know, little drippies. Don't want the drippies. So let's give it one torch and that's it, all done. I'll leave it here overnight with a cover. I'm gonna put a box over it and uh, see how it dries. Mm. I don't know what these little dots are. I could, check, I could fix that tomorrow. Otherwise, I'm gonna just mess up my whole painting here. If I keep playing with it. Yeah. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. bless let's uh give you a nice close-up here let's pick this up i put the light kind of facing up so i don't get too much light in here but i still get lights in here anyway that's the top right hand corner and you see those colors all together how pretty are they mm -hmm. you get a little cells every now and then I'm not one that likes a lot of cells, so I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? When you put the torch too close, you get all those little tiny cells in there. So, yeah, I really love the way this one came out. And I also like the way this one turned out. Uh, look at the colors. Wait. Mm. Something over here. I gotta take that out. Mm -hmm. All right. Look, cells in there. Cells all over here. Nice webbing. Nice cells. Yeah. For those who like a lot of cells, look at that. You got a whole bunch of cells in there. That's from the swipe technique. I have to try to get cells. You could just make them by swiping. So uh, that's it, guys. You have a wonderful, wonderful rest of this weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.